What's going on guys, FM Wizard here today and I'm here to show you how to change your Football Manager directory. This is your graphics directory that you would install your graphics to and where Football Manager puts all your saves and stuff. So not your installation directory. That's done before you install the game on Steam. This is the one once your game's installed. This is needed if you have a small SSD or an SSD at all and you don't want it on there. Um, it's really easy. I'll show you how to do it. So you just right click on your football manager in the library, go properties, set launch options, and then you want to make the folder that you want it to send it to. So I've just made it to made a folder on my not SSD as you can see at the top here for football manager. Alright. So once you've made your folder, jump back over here into your launch options and you want to paste this code in here. I'll put it in the description and then you just want to go in between these two quotation marks, click on the bar here, copy, and paste it between the two quotation marks, and click OK. Alright, now I'm going to launch the game, and I'll be back. So now we're in the game, and as you can see, all my graphics are no longer there due to my directory changing. So this is the, the folder now for our directory. You see it's made a bunch of folders, so games, you save games and your skins and stuff. So then if I wanted to install like you know your logos in here, now that it's off your SSD, just go graphics and just do what you normally do. So you know face packs and stuff. Just remember this also works on touch, and I'll explain why this is golden. Because if you like me and play a bit of touch as well as the normal FM game, and you don't want to have, especially if you have an SSD, and you don't want two massive, because it creates separate folders for Touch and Football Manager. So if you don't want to just copy over all your face packs, it takes up double the space. Right, so if I go back here and change my directory back, so it's just the same, 2020. Right, and so with my Touch, it's literally the same command. I'll show you. There we go. So then, basically, when I refresh the cache in touch, it uses the exact same um, graphics as my normal game. So then it's one set of graphics. I don't need to copy it over to the touch files as well. It's just one set of graphics for both games, which makes it much easier to manage. And it's off your SSD if you have one. So I hope you, this tutorial helps you, and I hope you learned something from it. And if you did, Leave a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.